All right, welcome to lesson, there it is, 9.3.2. Uh, this is just some more systems of inequalities, and, and actually we kind of have a fun little lesson. This is one of my favorite lessons of the year to do. Um, when we're talking about more systems of inequalities, if you remember on the last one, we were talking about we had graphed uh, two uh, linear equations, and then we saw how those graphs came out. Then we started talking about a parabola in a linear equation. Here you can notice on this one here that we have the uh, absolute value of x, and then plus 4. Remember the plus 4 when it's on the outside causes this graph to raise up 4 units. So as we graph those two right here, the absolute value of x would be this V shape right here. The plus 4, because it's on the outside, raised it up 4. So that's where that comes. And we wanted Y to be less than or equal to that, so we wanted to shade below the V. Then we have the next one over here, which is negative X plus 4Y is greater than 4. Now I highly suggest when you have something like this, you put that into slope-intercept form. When you do that, your intercept would be at positive 1. Your slope on this one would be a positive one-fourth, so that's up one and over four. And then you would have ended up with this one with y being greater than that, so you'd be shading above the y. So hopefully that makes sense as to how that is. That's a little bit of review for what we had done yesterday, um, only with uh, putting in the absolute value of x in there as one of the equations. All right, let's move on. Here is kind of what we're doing today. It's the hot air balloon, search and rescue. <clears throat> there was a hot air balloon that took off uh, from, the, uh, from the very northern tip of the Philippines. So let's, let's first talk about where that is. Here's our little map. In fact, you may want to have this map down so you kind of have this. So if you need to pause the video and draw this map real quickly, go ahead and do that. All right, so the hot air balloon took off from the northern Philippines right up here. And the hot air balloon was supposed to go on a direct path down to the French Peninsula. You may want to track that, what it was supposed to do. However, at some point, the hot air balloons don't have a lot of control over where their balloon goes. They kind of go in the direction of the wind. Um, so as you draw that straight line, their last known place where they had, were um, was at negative 1,000, positive 1,000. So you got to think about where would negative 1,000 here. you got to realize each of these little units, each unit here, is a thousand kilometers. So, um, where would negative a thousand be and positive a thousand be? Well, it's somewhere right above these Solomon Islands right here, if that makes sense. So that was their last known spot of where this hot air balloon was. So as we continue on from here, so we know, let's see here, that they took the direct flight from here uh, to the French Peninsula, which we already talked about, and their last known spot was here. Now, there was an airplane that was flying by that saw this hot air balloon in the ocean sinking rapidly here. Um, and the person said that it was to the south of their flight path. Now, they had left Australia, and their flight was they were going 2,000 kilometers north for every 3,000 miles uh, kilometers east. So let's think about that. It had left the Australian airport right here and was going 2,000 north, 3,000 east, so it was going in this kind of trek right here. So what I suggest you do is you graph that. Now when they had done this, remember, they had, um, when they had done this, they saw that the uh, hot air balloon was sinking somewhere to the south of them. South of them would be down below down here. So you may want to shade that and find out where that would be. So you've got from this airport, 2,000, 3,000 east, 2,000, 3,000 east, graph that shade below. Then as we go to the third clue on this one, I was a passenger on a flight that flew directly from the French Peninsula to Indonesia. They were looking out the window and saw that it was going north of where they were flying. So as we go back to our map, they left the French Peninsula and they were going to Indonesia right here. So they had this straight line right here, and they saw that the um, hot air balloon had gone down somewhere north of that. Okay. Now the reason we need to figure out where they went down, and this, this accident just happened, you guys, is we have people stranded in the water, 
okay? And we need to rescue them. We need to get a search party out and we need to know where to look. So we need to get someone to look for that. So please draw the line from the French Peninsula to the Indonesia, shade north, and then use your skills and knowledge about the shading of that that you learned from the last unit to figure out where exactly we should be searching and rescuing. So make sure you have this all drawn out and shaded. And pause the video if you need to at this point. If you, until you have that done. You're pausing, you're pausing, you're pausing. If you did this correctly, and this is the notes you're going to have to show Mr. Anderson, that is what you should have ended up with. Ha! But I'm moving away. No, I'm not moving away. That is what you should have ended up with. The Philippines to the French was the path they were supposed to take, although the wind had taken them a little south of that path. Okay, so we knew that. We knew that the flight from the French to the Indonesia, and it had gone somewhere north of that, so that would be shaded up here somewhere. And then the airport from Australia, and they were going up to over three is the green dotted line, but they had seen them south somewhere, so that would be in this area somewhere. So the only places where all three of these meet up together is this area right here in the pink. So we need to get our search and rescue teams to be searching this area right here. All right. We'll see you in class tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that.